Before I get onto anything, yeah, I went out last night. Mm-hmm. And someone mentioned a few things to me now. I want to get your opinion. You're female. <laughs> okay. So I want to get your opinion on it before yeah. we go into anything else. Okay. So I went out. Mm-hmm. I ordered a porn star martini. Yeah? Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. You sure? Because this person seems to think that it was, it's a very feminine drink. No, because a lot of guys drink that drink. Porn star martini? Yes. So then, uh, listen. That I ain't gonna person say is wrong. <laughs> that person is wrong because it's passion for you and yeah. like vanilla vodka. Like it's just a drink and mm-hmm. it's a name. So if you like it, you like it. It's like, a sweet one. Yeah. yeah who doesn't like that? a sweet one? You know what very mean? true. Very true. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I'm right. You make me right with that one. Yeah. Yeah. Because I love a porn star Keep martini. Keep drinking your porn star martinis. There Forget about go. those people. I love a porn star and I love a porn star martini. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> why not hey why not and the second controversial thing okay. that you said yeah all right which i'm gonna bring it up as well so mm-hmm. on top of <laughs> porn star martin is feminine yeah yeah they also said yeah that black guys are more polite than mixed race guys i don't know you mm-hmm. tell me i don't what I, do you what's no, your opinion like, i feel like i've met a lot of both and I think that just depends on anyone and how you're brought up and your yeah. manners. Like, I don't think that's a thing. I don't think anyone can make that statement. She was very specific. Maybe she's had a bad experience. That's all yeah, I can say. I think so. We mixed race guys on it. But she was like, yeah, they're more. I've polite. never had a problem. So. Because I, I was know. saying what you were saying. I'm saying just, I bet it depends on the person. Isn't it? Yeah. That, and their yeah, personality. Literally, I don't think you can make that judgment. Yeah. So, so yeah. that was two controversial things. Okay. <laughs> I was out. But we are going to warm up with a quick game. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to do it three times. All I'm going to do is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the spot. All I'm going to do is, okay. yeah. It's called the five second challenge, yeah. Okay. I'm going to say something. You just got to name three things of whatever I say. So for instance, if I say name three things that are green, you got five seconds to okay. say it, yeah. Just a little warm up. Watch me fail. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Straight into it. Okay. So name three things yeah. that are red. Uh, cherries, strawberries, wine. Oh, wait. Nani? Too slow. Mm. We're going to go into it again. Okay. Yeah? Because we need to warm up. We need to make <laughs> okay. sure all the nerves are gone. Okay. And we're laughing. All right. Okay. Okay. Name three wooden things. A chair, a table, a bench. Oh, I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. <laughs> we'll do one more. Okay. Because we're warming up now. I feel like you're getting into it. All right. All right. So you got the wood one, right? Yeah. Do you like wood? Yeah. <laughs> so I, need, she got a, I need like <laughs> Is that why she got them all right? You see? That's what it is, man. Listen, we just have a laugh. We just have a laugh on the couch squad podcast. You know what I mean? All right. Last thing. Okay. Name three things that can fly. A bird. A person sometimes. Yeah. You're, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gave you correct. No, you're wrong. You're definitely wrong. She said a person. Yeah, Name a person who can fly. Someone that thinks they can fly. But are they flying? How do you know? Have you seen? Because normally if they, if they <laughs> jumped off a building or out the window. What well, about if they've got a parachute or those glider things? Then That's you can gliding. fly. That's gliding. Yeah, but you can get those wing ones as well. Still gliding. Flying. Still flying. No, flying is like <laughs> you should be able to propel yourself up and down. You know what I mean? Huh? Propel yourself up and down? Yeah. Oh. You know about propelling yourself up and down, don't you? Yeah. So are you flying? everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I tried to catch you off guard. I tried to embarrass her, but listen, she doesn't care. She doesn't give her. <laughs> All right. So let's get into some of these things, yeah? Off camera, we're talking about ghosts. Yeah? You're talking about Juju and all them things, yeah? Yeah. So listen, and you, you, you said a few things about the paranormal and I the, did, the other did. side and the, the veil and... All them kind of things, yeah? yeah. So listen, it's story time. We want to know th- your experience. The worst one, no? The worst one with the paranormal. Now and I know I your friend's you- a witch. She's not a witch. <laughs> She's not a witch. She you- can sense the. That doesn't mean you're a witch. It's just like uh, special powers on it. So, well, yeah, but oh well. Do you believe that she can? What sense the? Yeah, definitely. You think she can? And she's told you. Yeah. All right. So definitely. this this time you're talking about. Was she, was she with you? Yes. And she confirmed. Yes. All right, tell us about it then. Okay, so this, which one? There's two. The worst one. The one where you're, you're like, two. It, it's, yo, that's something. Okay, so this one was very recent. So it was like my birthday, like two weeks ago now. Um, Went to Manchester mm. and we stayed in this Airbnb. 
mm. like on the curry mall if you know where the curry mall is La- like a like an old bnb like a yeah it was like it was a terrorist house but it, oh, know, okay. it wasn't converted but it was very like wooden like so there's like a lot of wooden cladding it's your favorite <laughs> <laughs> wooden cladding yeah. it was like it kind of had that rustic feel look mm. as well um so there's quite a few of us staying there mm-hmm but it was like the next day, so after my birthday, after going out, all that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. everyone had left. And it was just me and her. And it was about, I'd say like five o'clock. Put this glass on. Okay. Is that five? Now put it towards you. Okay. There we go. Okay. Used to that. So, <laughs> so it was like five o'clock <laughs> and it was still kind of day low. And actually that day it wasn't raining because usually Manchester is kind of raining. Okay. It was quite sunny. Yeah, yeah. So... Brain in mind, I hadn't slept since the day before anyway. Mm. And I still caught her. I was like, I'll go for a nap. But before that, we had been talking about that kind of like paranormal kind of experience, that okay. kind of thing. But nothing too What, deep. before? That yeah, happened. but like, it wasn't like a in depth. It was just like, oh, has anything weird happened recently? Blah, blah, all that kind of stuff. Mm. And yeah, we were just having a conversation about it. Mm. So I went for a nap. So basically, the layout of this room was. There was like the door, then next to the door, there was like a long mirror kind of thing. Mm-hmm. An old wooden wardrobe, the one that you have to kind of click in place to lock. Yeah, yeah. And then like my bed was like opposite the mirror and the door. So I closed the curtains, left it kind of slightly open, so the light was still coming through. Yeah. yeah. And then the landing light was on, left that was left on. Mm-hmm. And then I left the door like slightly open, not not closed, not open, but slightly open. Ajar, yeah. Yeah, let's the, say that. The technical yeah. joke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So then my, my friend was in the other room because... We had like two separate rooms. So she was like, I'll go for a nap as well. Mm. So What, in her room, yeah? Yeah, yeah. She okay. was in a different room. I was in a different room. Okay, okay. And then like I kind of slept like towards the door, like with my back towards the door. And like I sleep with like rain. I struggle to sleep. So I sleep with like rain music. I swear <laughs> Yeah, so I have like rain so music. So like rain like, falling on like yeah. glass or like rain onto like the floor? I don't know. You know, like, because people like the sound of rain on, like, cars Yeah, and no, like that. it's just, like, a normal, like... Oh, onto the floor. Yeah, and it's oh, got okay. kind of, like, soothing music. So yeah, yeah. I had Does it work? Like, I think it helps me. I struggle okay. to sleep, but, yeah. Okay, okay. So I had it on quite, not mad loud, but quite loud. Yeah. Had it on, and it was, I don't know, probably I must have kind of started to fall asleep. It's still daylight. Light was still coming in. What time is this, then? Uh, should we... I'd say, like, seven. Okay. So like yeah, in summer though, it's still it's still bright. It was quite bright outside. Okay. Yeah, it was it was quite bright, okay. and I could literally, I had my I, I'm a person that sleeps under the covers as well. Mm-hmm. So like my head was kind of covered with like the duvet, and I was kind of like curled up. Oh, cocooned, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I literally could feel like somebody standing like over me. Like I could feel it like we really, like vividly like I could. It wasn't nice. It wasn't a nice feeling. So someone's like over you. Yeah, like someone's like looking over you. Because you can sense you. when someone's yeah, standing behind you. Yeah, like so if someone, that, that like we did it earlier like when we were talking about it, someone's yeah, standing yeah. behind you, you can yeah. feel someone's presence. Yeah, yeah. So in my head, I'm like, I'm not going to turn around because I don't want to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to turn around because I don't want to know what I'm going to see. <laughs> this is paranormal. That was Dave. All right. <laughs> Dave was behind you. <laughs> well, because you didn't you turn around, you never confirmed it. You I just didn't want to see. I didn't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> literally that, like my eyes that's actually funny though because like you can feel something yeah but you're not turning around no because like i didn't want to see what it was <laughs> i literally i closed my eyes yeah. closed my eyes and i literally like i was like yeah like you I don't just want, go away yeah yeah literally, you know that thing where you like cover yourself it's yeah, like it's gonna yeah, go yeah yeah so i literally looked but this time i was like you know what i'm moving i started to move like slowly like away from like the edge of the bed because i was like and mm. i knew that's when i knew i was like this isn't sleep paralysis i've had sleep paralysis I mean, you have sleep paralysis, you can't move at all. Yeah, like, yeah. And you might see something. Yeah. A lot of people have said they've seen the same. Like, That's happened to you before. Yeah, a lot of people have seen this like shadowy figure kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, no, I can move. Like, this is not right. <laughs> <laughs> so I look up and like I can literally see like a shadow like above my head. I can't see what it is, but it's like moving back and forth. Mm. Like someone is literally leaning over me. So at that so moment. So what, you can see a shadow at this point? Yeah, not of anything, but you know, like when something's blocking the yeah, light yeah. and then it's moving oh, back. So okay. you can, like, you can tell get, there's yeah. something yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't, it, like, it's not like there's anything else. Mm. I literally was like, no, like, I'm just going to close my eyes. So what happened afterwards? <laughs> Did it just go away? Yeah, like, well, I could still feel something like standing there, but yeah. I just kind of tried to fall asleep because. So before this <laughs> happened, yeah, because you was talking about it before, innit? Yeah. Is it possible someone was fucking with you? 
No. Like someone came in and No, just I like... thought that as well. So yeah. like, obviously yeah, I had fallen, I fell asleep, I got up. It was like, what time is it? It was like half nine, mm-hmm. I got up. But at this point it was dark. Yeah. Um, very annoying. But the weird thing was the wardrobe had been opened and I had closed that wardrobe before I went to sleep. 100%. And, yeah, 100%. Okay. I closed that wardrobe. So it so, wasn't a jar, yeah? No, I literally clicked it in place. I heard it click. Okay. That wardrobe was open when I woke up. Mm-hmm. I didn't really think too much of it. Like, yeah. I didn't think too much of it. The door was open, which is fine. I left the door open. Well, I, I assumed I left it open because yeah. I did. Yeah. So I went downstairs and my friend was just lying on the sofa. And I said to her, I was like, oh, like before I even ex- asked her anything. On the sofa? Yeah, yeah. She had got up before me. Oh, okay. I went downstairs. Oh, okay. Like yeah, she yeah. had a nap and got up. Oh, it was a, ter- it was a house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah, she, went yeah. Down, she went back downstairs and then... Mm. I hadn't even told her what happened to me yet. I just said to her, I was like, oh, you know, when I was sleeping, did you come and check on me? Because I thought, oh, it's her. And she was like, yeah. I was like, oh, that makes sense. And then she was like, I was like, yeah, but did you just come and like, you know, look over me? And she was like, no, I just like opened the door slightly. I was like, open the door. She was like, yeah, your door was fully closed. And I was like, I didn't. It was closed. Yeah. I was okay. like, but I left the door open. Mm. She was like, no, it was fully closed. It had been pulled shut. And I was like, no, <laughs> like no. I so basically, it. <laughs> the ghost wants to get a bit. So he closed the door. <laughs> he closed <laughs> all the stuff. In fact, wait, he opened the wardrobe, didn't he? Or she? We don't never know. know. But yeah, so it opened <laughs> whatever it was. Opened yeah. the wardrobe. But then the weird thing was, she asked me. She was like, "Oh, well, what?" I, then I explained what had happened to me, and she was like, "What time was this?" And I was mm. like, "Well, this was like after we kind of, well, we both went to our rooms and went to sleep." And she goes. No, she goes, the same thing happened to me. And I was like, wait, what, what do you mean? Over there. She goes, yeah, she goes, something was like looking over me and like the lights, like the shadow was flickering above her when she looked up and it was daytime. And it was like a similar time to when it happened to me or like just after. Mm. So I was like, okay, that's really weird. And she goes, no, but your door was closed. And I was like, but I didn't close it. Like, and it was one of those heavy doors as well. So it's not You can like, hear it close. Yeah, you'd hear it yeah, close yeah. and someone had to physically shut yeah, it. It's yeah. not like the oh, wind's okay. going to shut that. And oh, there's no okay. windows open either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like, there's not a really an explanation for that. So you believe that you encountered ghost genius. Yeah, but that wasn't the thing. That the, yeah, but then that night, so my friend slept with me that night we, because we were checking out in the morning. Yeah, yeah. And obviously we weren't going to sleep by ourselves. After, after. After that, yeah. we were just like, no. Yeah, yeah. So we went to bed got into bed like I was kind of falling asleep she fell asleep and I kind of felt the same thing again in a way like some like her presence or something was kind of like this time wasn't looking over me but like getting it close. was around like, yeah yeah so but obviously this time she was there so I was like whatever kind of thing it was, yeah. it'll go or whatever go away yeah then she got up in the middle of the night to go to the toilet but the toilet was actually downstairs mm. um so, and it was obviously it's quite dark as well. So she. So this was an old house, isn't it? Yeah. Because the toilet's downstairs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So she turned the light, like her torch on on her phone a little bit. And I remember because I kind of got up because obviously the light. And then I was like, are you okay? And she was like, yeah, I'm just going to the toilet. Um, And she was like holding the light. But when she got up, like she like startled herself a little bit. Okay. And I was like, I didn't think too much of it. I was like half asleep or whatever. But it was just, it was a bit like she like jolted back. So I was mm. like, okay. So then... She obviously came into the toilet, came back, and then in the morning when we were checking out, we were, we were having breakfast downstairs, and I was like, oh, like, last night, were you okay? Or whatever, and she goes, oh, I didn't really want to talk about it. Like, I didn't want to tell you. And I was like, what do you mean I didn't want to tell you? She goes, when I went to the toilet, I was actually kind of scared to go to the toilet after what had happened the night before. Mm. And I was like, yeah, I figured, because it's quite dark in the house, and it's creaky. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's all wooden, it's all creaky kind of thing. Mm. And she goes, yeah, when I, like, got up, to go to the toilet like i jumped because i saw something standing next to the wardrobe and i was oh, like yeah i was like mm-hmm. um what do you mean you saw something standing next to the wardrobe like what like now but at this point why are you like still in this building <laughs> now, like honestly because i'm not in that building right now you get me i'm not even deep yeah, in it no, like that i'm I, on the street i understand that i streets. get that but it was just well we couldn't really just uh, get up and leave really. i'm in the like, streets we had a lot Lights of stuff to take with us my, uh, we had a lot of stuff to take with us and like <laughs> we couldn't but when she told me that and she explained like she was like it was really tall it was like as tall as the wardrobe like I yeah could, but it's streets or <laughs> floating off the ceiling like yo i know what i'm picking <laughs> You get me? That's that's. Uh, I don't I, know. I'd have to go somewhere else, man. That's that's too it much. It did. It did, mate. Look, when I told my friends about it after, they were just like, "Nah, like what the I'm hell?" I'm gone. 
like yeah it was very creepy like did you read the um like the reviews or anything to see if anyone else yeah like we did and there was nothing and yeah. i even tried to like look up like the history maybe of, of the house, house or something yeah yeah but then i'm thinking like the area is kind of old but the house is old isn't it? yeah like, the house is old. old and also like i don't know even if it was a spirit or a presence like people might obviously not write that in the review yeah but it's an airbnb so a lot of people are gonna stay there yeah, yeah. So, like, even if there is something there, then, like, something's going to be creeping around. It's not like it did anything. It was just, like, something you was feel there, something like, a now. present. Yeah. So, yeah, it was very strange. Things we was also talking about. Wearing what you want. Should we get into that one? Oh, my one? God. Because you wanted to go, hey, and it? Should we go? Go on, then. Let's All go. All right, so. Let's go. In your opinion. Yeah. Because you was like, obviously, you get some time. We were talking about Manchester, Birmingham, and you saying, like, Birmingham yeah. is, like, worse for, like, being harassed and this and that yeah, when you're out. In my experience, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Obviously, it's just everyone down to everyone. Like, yeah, yeah. Obviously, 0121 all the way, and it like, <laughs> boom again. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, so, obviously, someone else said, uh, so what was you wearing? Like, is it a mad one? And you just like, wow, I can just wear whatever, and it. Yeah. And bearing in mind, I'm not saying it's right to harass, because if I hear no or indication that there's someone's not interested, yeah. I'm not, uh, uh, that's me, isn't it? Yeah. But no. obviously, and I know some guys are not like that. No, of course, yeah. But does what you're wearing contribute to it? Um. In your opinion? You're going to say no, but. No, no, like, I get your point of view, like, I yeah. understand, because I guess, like, regardless of what you wear, like, it could be anything, like, I'm not saying, like, okay, when I go out, yeah, like, I don't. I do wear things that are like sheer or mesh and like, yes, it does attract attention. Fair enough. Mm. But like... In More any, than like if you used to wear something not like that though. No, because I've been harassed where I've wore like fully clothed. What's worse? What's worse? Yeah. Um. Obviously, yeah, less, but that's normal. I guess that's kind of a normal thing because like it is going to attract someone to look in yeah, a yeah. way. Yeah. But I feel like that shouldn't make a difference because why can like certain people be fine with it and other people can't? If you can't control yourself, yeah. then that's to do with that person. Now, nah, but it's more, I don't think it's, it is a bit to do with controlling yourself. Yeah. But it's also how people perceive you in it. I don't know. So it's like, like, all right, she's wearing nothing. Maybe she's a loose kind of thing. I'm not saying you are. Yeah, no, but, no, no, <laughs> but like, no, but then I guess like the majority of like fashion now, like they make a lot of mesh stuff. Yeah, yeah. it's not like it's not like people. They make a majority of clothing now, like newer styles of clothing, is like you get like mesh sets, like you get, and, it, and people just see. Like, I, feel, I, I feel I I hear what you're saying. Do you know yeah. what I mean. I hear what you're saying, but does that even like because these days like me personally i don't like skinny jeans tight jeans those kind of things yeah. but most shops now that's all they're selling they don't know really normally sell like normal yeah like, but so i will go like, and look yeah. for something else yeah, you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah, yeah. so basically what i'm saying is just because it's there does that mean it's not gonna attract the wrong attention do you get what i'm saying um i don't know like the thing is like when i've been out i'm not saying like every single time yeah, i've yeah. been harassed of because course. i haven't yeah yeah and i've when I've been out and I've wore like more clothing, I've been harassed too. Mm. But I feel like that's just some people. Like I yeah. feel like that's just how some people are though. Like yeah. some people will be like on the prowl to like pick up girls or guys. Like Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Like like I've been out on Broad Street and I've I've walked with like my friends and there's been a group of us and there's been like Cars and that. Cars that's got in past yeah, yeah. on and off, like telling you to get in, or even cars pretending to be taxis. What? See, yeah. this is the thing, and I've spoken about these things previously, and it, and I am on the side of women in that regard because there's a lot of weirdos out there, and it. Yeah, I've been very vocal on other episodes. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah, yo, yeah. man, are weird. Yeah. Like, yo, but, women, sorry, stay in groups, stay in groups. Quickly, yeah, but I've had male friends that have been harassed by women, men and women. Okay. So, like, I don't think it really matters. Like, if I've been harassed. Sorry? I've been harassed. Yeah, and I can... I can That's a joke. <laughs> no, no. I've had people put their hands down my yeah, trousers yeah. and everything. I, I've been with guys, like, and, and the guy's been fully in front of me and a girl's literally gone and put a hand down his trousers. And yeah. he's so uncomfortable. And I literally, like, looked at him and was like, are you, like, are you okay? Like, that is not okay. <laughs> That's not right. And I even had a go at the girl because I was yeah. like, what, what do you think you're no, doing? But you know what it is, though? The, the, see the, why it's, it's different? Well, it, it's not different. Yeah. In regards to like 
how people should act. Yeah. But it's different because the way people see it, yeah, is like, obviously, men like, oh, well, they are. Men like, <laughs> men like to think they're stronger than women, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah, in yeah, a way, yeah. if he wanted to get her off of him, he can. Whereas yes. if it's the other way around, yes. it's kind of like looked at a kind of, you're not defenseless, but you got a, it's a harder to yeah, get a man I, off you. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why it's not blown up as much because it's, it's definitely happened to me. But I feel like it should be though, because like it's still not right regardless. Like, because assault is yeah. assault and sexual assault is sexual assault regardless. Like, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. No, and I but, feel like people don't talk about it just because it's a guy. But you know what, we're in, we're in, we're in, we're in, a, we're in a, you know what it is. People are getting too soft, man. So that's why I'm not gonna, I'm not blowing this, this, this. No, no, I understand. You know what I'm trying to say? Well. People are getting very yeah, soft. Yeah. Like if you don't want her to do it, yeah, just say and yeah, get yeah, her yeah, off yeah, of yeah. you. Yeah, no, that's fine. more times you're stronger than her, innit? Yeah, yeah, Get yeah, her yeah, off yeah. you and just. But what I mean is like you know when people, some people get like caught off guard. Yeah, like, yeah. You don't expect like you could be like standing in a queue. You're not gonna expect a girl to fall on like going. Yeah, like, but grab it, surely you. when you seen that, was it in a club? It's got no, it was outside. What? Just like on a normal day. No, we were outside like a club, the club though. but it was yeah. in a queue. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, nah, but I'm saying like that. You ain't gonna see that happening. Just like what walking yeah. down. The, but a woman walking down the street at any time can get shouted oh, yeah, out the no, window. You know what I'm saying? Of but course. That might that might have been drunk. It's no excuse. Yeah, it's no excuse. But I'd, I'd expect things like that to happen because when it happened to me, it was in a club. Oh, like, okay, fair enough. Uh, no, I've seen it in the Do club. You know what I'm too. Yeah, 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 yeah. But just be a man. Just get her off here, innit? Like, let's not go into like. Come on, men. Like, men are getting soft these days. I'm no, being, no, that's just my opinion, isn't it? No, I get you. I get you. I get you. But when it comes to women, I've been very vocal. Moving groups, watch your drinks, because these men out here are weird. Oh, you know, I've been spiked before. Me. So yeah, I yeah, know. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 man, I, I haven't seen the spike. I have suspicions that I was spiked because I yeah. had one drink and I was done. So yeah, no, yeah. I feel like I have, I was spiked in it. Yeah, and it happens so much now. Yeah. Like, it happens a lot. Man, uh, man, yeah, there's weirdos. So, that is weird. Women though. keep yourself safe in it. And that's why I'm getting, that's why I'm kind of bringing up the clothes thing. Cause yeah. that does, there's man, we already know certain man can't control himself. Yeah, yeah, But yeah, that yeah, contributes yeah, yeah. to it. No, so that's why course, I'm saying like, it, it, it's a shame that you have to be mindful of what you're wearing. Yeah, I know, of course. But in how we are now, because we're never going to live in the world. Cause at the end of the day, men move to girl. In it. Of that, course, of that's course. how it is. No, so men, men, men are always going to move to girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and I, I'd like to think women don't want to live in a world where man don't move to girl. You get what I'm trying to say? No, I understand. It's gonna be the guy, the one, the one, the people that you're talking about, are the guys that you don't want to move to girl. Because it was a guy that you wanted to, you wouldn't really mind, or would you? I don't know. Yeah, no. I still, if someone's gonna be rude, though, mm. that's the difference. Like, it could be like someone I find attractive, but if they're gonna come on to you in like a horrible way, then no. Like, see you later. All right. We were literally like walking back and this is where like we started to get like followed by like one guy sorry one guy no there was like three but they were older they were like older men yeah yeah okay older men yeah 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 so shouting yeah or yeah 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 yeah. they were shouting they were shouting yo sexy yo come here no but he wasn't come and put your ass in my mouth (laughs) (laughs) no but it wasn't even that they were like they were like indian men as well yeah yeah and obviously like me and three friends were like Indian girls. Yeah, yeah. And obviously they were like following us, but mm-hmm. then they then started shouting things in obviously like in Punjabi and stuff. Like I'm Gujarati, but like my friends are Punjabi. And obviously they were saying stuff, basically just calling us like dirty stack, all this kind of business. Oh, I swear to no. Yeah, yeah. Do you speak another language? I speak Gujarati, yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, but obviously they were speaking Punjabi, but I, I, you know what the words mean. Majority of people know what those words mean. Okay. So they were shouting Say and one. one of my friends. Say one. No, let's not talk. No, I want to know. I want to learn. One of my friends was literally like shouting back. So the Dixie security, there was a security man. They could see what was happening. Mm. And they basically told them to like go away. And yeah, like yeah. they told us to come and sit inside like yeah, the, yeah. the shop for him. Yeah. So we, we sat down. Shout out the bouncer. Literally like, he literally saved us. Shout out to that guy. <laughs> so we sat down. And then the, those guys kept coming back to the door. And then obviously the people in Dixie were just like telling him to like, yeah, like you can't come in, like get yeah, out, yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. So then I was sitting there for like a couple of minutes, and the next thing you know, one of the guys comes back with a glass full of something, literally chucks it through the door, what? and it goes all over my face, all over me, all over my friend. Mm. And like, I don't know what it was. I don't know where he got a glass from filled with like whatever drink that was. But yeah. imagine if that was acid. I'm not going to lie, but yeah, imagine yeah, yeah, if yeah, that, yeah. Like, I didn't know what it was. Yeah. Like, I literally went outside and there was literally like feds outside. Mm. And I wouldn't usually do this, but like, you know, 
and my friends had enough. I'd had enough. Yeah, and literally went up to that office out and I was like, yo, I just, that guy just took a drink on me. It's literally assault. That's yeah. assault. I was like, it's that guy over there. Yeah. Stitches get stitches. That was joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but literally. Play, and then play. there was like some, there was another group of lads. Yeah, yeah. And they were like, are you okay? Like, what's happened? Yeah, yeah. And they were like, yo, should we go get the man for you? <laughs> and we were like, it's okay. Like, they were like, nah, they actually were like, yo, just let the feds take him away. Nah, I know. It's not that. Now, if I was a girl, I snitched a life, mate. I'd be the thing super was, snitched. Because like the it wasn't just me, but like imagine if they went up to another person. I didn't yeah. know I was in that glass. Nah, super like, snitches, mate. If I'll there was something else in that way. glass, yeah. and might, luckily that glass was plastic, but if that was a glass, like yeah, a yeah. glass and that smashed, yeah. I've already had a fair share of experience of accidents with glass when I went to carnival, and no, <laughs> and it like yeah, it got I got basically I had to have a lot of stitches. Okay. So, so, so experience like, with glass, experience <laughs> with things going all over your face, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was it a good thing okay <laughs> so you joking. know so nah, I, I, in that situation i would have snitched too man. yeah so not only that because they could be waiting for you after you go as yeah well. yeah so, and we didn't know where yeah. they went so they did get the guy yeah and then the police like obviously told to take a statement or whatever and yeah yeah they let well they took us home in the van the police van and then they dropped, what, they dropped you home yeah because they didn't want us to walk <sighs> wow like because because they because they saw the other guys walking. Yeah, I get, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. there was there was a few people that got chased, but then I didn't think police done that anymore. So I'm just a bit surprised. Yeah, like yeah. So well, yeah. it was at the apartment that was well. My friends stayed at another apartment, so basically they dropped me off there. So, so let me let me know what you think about this. All right. <laughs> so would you let your man go to a strip club? Yeah. By himself. Yeah, yeah. It's a strip club. You good with that? I'd go to a strip club. You're good with your man going to strip club. Yeah, you, if you're gonna, I'd go with him, man. I don't care. Yeah, but if you're with him, it's different. No, yeah. Why not? But by himself. Why not? What do you think? <laughs> yeah, but like, unless you're gonna go to like, you know, get the extra, then fair enough. Not the extra, but what if just okay, just like a basic. What's wrong with chucking like money on a girl's like if if you're out there shaking it and you're chucking whatever like whatever? That... Because he's basically lost in over another woman. Isn't yeah, it? but. It's not if I'm listening over another woman, what's wrong with that as well? What <laughs> do you know what I mean? No, but I, 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 I wouldn't really, I wouldn't have an issue because it's another woman. I'd like to think, yeah, but I've been to a male strip show before, yeah, and I wouldn't like that. That's each their own, that's what I'm saying, but you're all right with it, yeah. I was fine with it. I don't know. I was know. fine with it. I feel like we've got people nodding their head in the background as well, man. So <laughs> I don't know. I feel like yeah, but I feel like it just depends on the, your relationship with your person as well. Yeah. Like if What's you, your view on it? As in, is it just if as long as you're not cheating, it's okay? Yeah, you're not cheating. It's so a strip club. Touching and money and yeah, it's a no strip rules. Club. No, no like, holds ob- barred. Obviously, <laughs> no. Obviously, I'm not gonna be like I don't. I wouldn't want him to get like a lap dance or something. But if he's there just chucking money, then like whatever. Well, I don't get how you don't have an issue with that. Because like it's about trust, isn't it? That's my man. He knows like you shouldn't have an issue. Like he's coming back to me, so like he ain't going back with her. So what? What's wrong with that? Because he's lost in after somebody. So do we watch porn? Well, I don't know. You might. Do you? Yeah. yeah. With your man. Yeah. Oh, I watch it by myself, whatever. <sighs> Maybe I'm, I don't know. I don't know, like, I feel like it's just a thing, isn't it? Like, I wouldn't like my girl to go to a strip club. Why though? What's the issue? Just the situation, the. Just but what the... is the issue? I let's, like, okay, if we, like, I, I understand it, and I, I get, I've had friends who wouldn't be comfortable. It's like I went on a Hindu yeah. recently, and we yeah. went to a strip show, yeah. and her fiance was fine with that. Yeah, but you can you can go to a strip show and just be chill. But yeah. if you're doing up the most, you know, you can fucking clap and all that, then that's all madness. But it's part of the whole experience of the show. I, a Hindu, I might make an exception because it's a Hindu. But then what's the difference if it's another because occasion? Because there's a difference between casually going to the club to make yeah, it clap. Yeah, but if you're going to And like, then making it clap for an occasion. Yeah, there's but a, you're still there's going. A, there's, occasional, there's occasional clap. <laughs> yeah, but you're still going regardless. And then, there, then there's casual clap. There's a difference. Not really still so. going. It's still a cert. You're still going though. Uh-huh. If there was an issue, then you wouldn't go at all. You'd say no. No, but I'm, well, I'm saying, do you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I'm saying it's been, <laughs> listen. There's do there's this casual. <laughs> yeah, but it all depends there's... how far you're taking it. Like if you're doing going, the most, as long as if you're doing the most, I'm gonna have an issue. But with what's it. doing the most though? Like you're on the front line, man. You're you're spearheading the attack. That, yeah, that, but that's not how it works in the strip club, like in the shows. 
See, I've never been to a strip club. I've been to like two. I'm going to another one actually in a couple of weeks here, actually. I've never been to a strip club, so I don't know what what it's like. But the strip clubs here aren't that good. America, yeah, if you go in Magic City, Atlanta, you're having a great time. It's different. But here, it's not that exciting. I'm surprised (laughs) to hear that you don't have an issue with it. You have an issue with um, your man just liking other girls' pictures? No, there's no issue. Nah, man, I am not. I don't know, man. You have social uh, media. I don't know if I believe you. No, I don't. You know why? I had this conversation with a friend recently as well because yeah. somebody was going crazy over that. It's a photo, man. It's a photo. It's different if you're messaging, but I had my... Ca- we both had each other's passwords. Mm. And, like, we used to send pictures of, like, girls to each other that we, like, liked or, like, who's attractive. Like, I don't think there's an issue. Like, I really don't... I know a lot of people come for me and be like, yeah, there's a big issue with that. But liking pictures not so much but I, if someone got upset I can understand why like I said liking a picture is equivalent to shouting someone on the street do you think yeah but obviously online that's how I know you're, you're sexy or something like that it's equivalent it's the on, it's that yeah but I feel like but, you can't, but I feel like there's always going to be people that are attractive though yeah but you don't have to make it known but then why have your why have your social media then like what's the point like you I just, don't know like let's just say but if you're not going to like it let's then, just say they're on a podcast called the Pants Coach Podcast and obviously they need social media to do that no I get that but like if you'd but then it, the what, what happened, the podcast. but then if it's just like I would you get mad if like your girl liked I wouldn't like it butter? I wouldn't like it no why though um why like what happens if it's somebody that you don't even know like it's just a celebrity yeah celebrities is a bit different but even still i just what why are you doing it what do you think it means because that's the that's i don't the, think it means anything because it's it just means a something man like it means something it does mean something yeah but if you find what if you like a photo you like a photo like so why do you have to make it known that you that you because, because obviously we're gonna there. no we're gonna like, <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying, <laughs> yeah but that was what mate <laughs> <laughs> all i'm saying is that you're gonna go through life you're gonna find other people attractive that are not your partner but why do you have to make it known i don't think it's a big issue though unless you're on your person's like social like that like oh my god do you just like that five seconds ago like mm, no nah, but i wouldn't no nah, i'm just five seconds ago <laughs> nah, but imagine, imagine scrolling through and you've seen your girl's name just on bed man with abs and read off and big prints and all this i'm just like yo is that what you want or you get me? <laughs> it's one of them. Like, do you want that or do you want me? Like, you get me. You're making it known that. But I, I you, don't think it's... you like that. But so, do you like me because you like that, and I'm not that? Yeah, but I guess everyone window shops. It's not that deep. Like, oh, so you just for the next one, yeah? No, you just don't get have your hand to. on the next. But if you before find, you let go of this if one. you find someone attractive, you can. You can. Yeah, but like, but why just to make it known? But are you? How are you making it known though? Like, would you know? Like, are Put you your, checking? No, you're putting the beacon out there by liking it. They say, yo, I think you're sexy. I don't, I, I don't, I just don't really think he's that deep, like. Then obviously you're laid back. Are you single? Yeah, at the moment. Mm. But like, when I was in a relationship, I'm. I'm going to put the Insta as she's single, she's chill. She doesn't really care about anything. No, I care good, about a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> no, I care about a lot of things, but I have my reasoning behind it. Yeah. And I feel like we'd trust it was fine. I feel like I had a very good stable relationship. Mm. Like, we didn't break up on bad terms or anything. It was yeah. just. Something that was going on in our lives that is what it is, but all right. So, like, strip clubs are on the table, <laughs> black and pictures on the table. So, you're good to go, man. Like, you can go to the strip club, I don't make like, it rain and all that. But I like coming to the strip club too, so it's one of those. Yeah, but what okay? So, what if you said I want to come to and I said now nah, I want to go by myself? Yeah, but if you're going by yourself, by yourself, then it's a bit weird. But if you're going now with, with your friends, yeah, that's okay. If you're going with your boys, mm. then fair enough. Right. And I'd probably know your friends too. It's, that's the difference like I knew like when I've been with people I would know their friends and I'm like I talk like do you know what I mean like I'm no, not I get gonna, you. Gonna, gonna be hold back and be yeah. like you don't know their girlfriend or whatever no 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 no, no. even if I mean? you didn't know them you, yeah, well I'd like to think you're not gonna say oh you can't go just because you don't know them you know what I'm saying yeah I don't know I would have an issue with it, it? yeah no, clearly I, you're laid back but I'm just like yo like why are you I feel like it's just a thing like it's not even I, I get I'm laid back but there's a reasoning behind it because I feel like I had something that worked well. Mm. Like if you've got ultimate trust in that person and it works and I have other friends who have ultimate trust in their person and that's just them two and it's fine and it works well and they do whatever. Like I don't think there's an issue. All right, so you worst DM then? <laughs> uh, let's look all right, cle- obviously we just go for the normal things. Obviously you've had the feet requests and all this stuff or have you not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because feet is just feet like... general, like, yeah, I get that. That's, <laughs> just like a, that's just like a normal thing now. Um, like, that's the real pandemic, man. Trust I got me. a folder of DMs, so let's hold on. Let's just pick some out. 
Yeah. Um, just pick the worst one. Worst one? I don't know. Let me look. Anyone offered any money? Yeah. yeah. For your spit? Uh, <laughs> no. I've had, like, obviously, general, like, feet, mm. pictures, all mm. that kind of stuff. Mm. Uh, How much? How much are your feet worth in today's market? I don't know. It was a couple. It wasn't loads. It's was like a couple hundred pound. Would you do it? I'd do fucking that. You're crazy. Did you do it? You didn't do it. If you didn't do it, you're crazy. No, I have done it before. Oh, you did I'm not gonna lie. I've sold feet. Hundred percent, mate. If I was a girl there getting peas, mate, like, might, I'd be so, mate, it might not even be my feet, mate. You just yeah, be on that's Google. What I mean, you get me like yeah, you yeah, like. You just pay me a bill. Yeah, this literally. is Google, son. <laughs> yeah, Yo. literally. Yeah. No, oh, I've yeah? done the feet thing before. Like, I feel mm-hmm. like that's not that deep. Mm. Um, what have I had? I had like, hold on. I've had just like okay. Anyone offered to piss on you? Nah. Not yet. No. <laughs> how much? How much for someone to piss on you? Did you do it? Nah, I don't think piss. I don't like bodily fluids like that. You know. <laughs> ten grand. Nah. Oh my god! Would life. you do it for ten grand? Huh? Would you do it for ten grand? I had this conversation with my friend actually yesterday. <laughs> Would you do? Would it I do it? I feel like it's the same thing for a girl and a guy. It's piss. Is it a girl or a guy? I don't know. Whatever. Fuck that, if it's a girl, maybe, possibly for 10 grand, yeah? A guy, fuck off, <laughs> no. It depends where, though, as well, I guess. Yeah, I suppose, because on my, different... my face, 10 grand's not enough, still, I can't. Yeah, like, that's what I I'm mean. Rigid, yeah. So I feel like if it's, my like, body, yeah. if it's like a foot or like Yeah, yeah, okay, oh, okay, yeah. 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 No, I'll yeah. track that, then, then you're right, yeah. so, okay. You, I think it depends. On, okay. 100 grand, your face. I'll do it for 100 grand. grand. Yeah, it's piss. Not shit, though. How much is shit, then? Nah, I'm not doing that. 500 grand. Yeah, you would. That no, way. no, not with five hundred grand. Shit, you can get proper ill, you know. You just saying you can cure anything with five hundred grand. <laughs> <laughs> would you let someone shit on you for five hundred grand? Oh, girl, yeah, for five hundred grand, Where? yeah. I'm wherever the fuck you want for five hundred grand. You're mad, mate. You know how ill you'd get. How am I gonna get ill? Could just be like a clump and just bounce off your face, and that's it, man. Done. And then that gets it. No, man, you can get so ill. You can get a bit of pink eye. Get me. Got my, pay my medical bills with the 500 grand you get me so you do <laughs> I do a bit you? of calculations yeah so I spend a couple grand to cure the pink eye you get me man's still got I think you'd have to think about which area of the body not face not for 500 for grand you can shit on my face bro 500 grand that's half a mil you know I know do you know what you know what it is I'm thinking about what I can do with 500 grand yeah that's very true True. I know, yo. I'm getting yeah. rich at five hundred grand. True, rich her, true, rich true, her true, at five hundred grand, mate. True. That's going straight into property. <laughs> Shout out my guy. Straight <laughs> into, <laughs> straight into property. Yeah, high maybe, speed. Maybe, I was gonna maybe. kick it into property, and <laughs> yo, I'm gonna be rich, mate. I don't know. Maybe I feel like their face is just a touchy subject when it comes. I could just imagine. Oh yeah, so what's your on your face? Oh yeah, see you later. Drive off in my Lamborghini. Thanks, mate. See you later. <laughs> Fucking hell, like yo, <laughs> one of them ones, man. Oh. So not five hundred grand. So I'm talking, so I walks in the room, click, click, flick, 500 grand. Maybe, maybe. Okay. I, I am, fuck that. I ain't, gonna, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. Trust me. I'm not lying. I think it's just that, yeah, but you also did try. I get, <laughs> no, I get what you're saying, but like, do you know what I mean? It's nasty. It is nasty. Yeah. But I'm thinking of half a mil, what I but can do with that. are you thinking the type of shit? I know that's a bit Yo, graphic. if it's Ronnie, whatever, I'm jumping in the shower, that's gone, bruv. I'm gonna put goggles on. Cause okay, cause okay, he, no, 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 no. See, you didn't think of that. You're just thinking your bare face. I'm like, yo, you didn't say you can't put goggles on, bro. What? Yeah, but what happens if they say no goggles? If they say no goggles, see, I'd probably think about it. But you know what? I'd, 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 I'd probably close my eyes. I probably close my eyes, bro. Oh, that's for five hundred really grand. Save you from like whatever's gonna drip into. Listen, your I got a couple grand to deal with that pink eye, bro. Simple. You get me? That's not a life-threatening disease, bro. That's not. You can get that just so I'm farting on your pillow. That's true. That's very true. As a true. prank. So That's very true. That's you get me? True. And you probably don't even need grants to do that anyway. Just go to the thing, get some antibiotics, you're sorted. <laughs> Trust me. That's true. True, true. Listen, straight into property. Stay into b- 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 Bitcoin, blood, and then you just get rich at it. True, true. That's very true. So that's what I'm dealing with. So, guys, if anyone wants to shit on anyone's face for five minutes, <laughs> shout, shout me, bro. Yo. Shout us Anyone out there wants to come with the coins, yeah? Because you know, man, love coins, yeah? Get them coins. We out. don't mind bodily fluids out here. 500, 500 grand, grand. Half a mil. You drop can it come now. and do. <laughs> Chop it now. Chop it now. <laughs> you don't know. No. But no, realistically, no one ain't paying no 500 grand to do that. Yeah. Imagine if you get a message. Yo, if one of the yo, one of the you know the rich guys out there, you know, you know them oil boy them. Yo! If it's, oh, but if it's a geezer, nah. If it's a geezer, I'm, I'm nah. Nah. But you know what I'm thinking about as well? People do that for free. 
pissing. Oh, that's very true. So fetish is, is mad when you think people about do it. that. It is very true. P- p- shit might maybe not as much piss though. Piss is quite normal. Like a lot of people like that. Like golden. There you shower. go, man. And listen, if you're making someone squirt, yeah. So that that's piss as well, basically. Not all piss. True. What piss involved? It, yeah, yeah. So I know what you mean. Listen, it's a different. If fluid. I can do that and get. Yeah, it is a different fluid, but it's in there though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very in true. there. Very true. It's very like five percent or something. Called yeah, yeah, yeah. Something yeah. small. Yeah, yeah. But five hundred grand. I know people that catch their catch that in their mouth, man. So I don't know. So do I. <laughs> 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 Woo! And listen, on that note, yeah, listen, it's been a pleasure. You've been a good sport. I'm I've just threw bare in your windows at you just to see how you're gonna react. And listen, you know what you done? You brushed it. Brushed it off. Oh, I didn't read my DMs. Oh, the DM. Okay, we can't. Should we read a few? All right, that's the worst ones. Let's get I few. don't know the worst one, but I've got a folder full, so I'm just right, gonna. Let's see. Let's see. Let's out. see. Let's see. Okay, so hold on. Are you quoting them? Yeah, I guess so. Are you airing them out? No, I'm not gonna say who I it is. <laughs> because I'm any celebrities? I have had a few, but not like dodgy DMs. No, no, them. Okay. I've had a few people message me. Come and lick my balls, yeah. <laughs> okay, somebody put this is like, this isn't even that bad, but somebody put it's just a weird way to just like message me looking for a new cum rag. You can be the perfect candidate. <laughs> Yo, watch the ghosties out there, you know. Cum rag. <laughs> yeah, he said cum rag. I'm done. I'm actually done. I didn't expect that at all. Man okay. said, I'm looking for a new comrade, and he thought that would work. <laughs> yeah. Fucking okay. hell, So I got bro. this one. This was a bit random. This wasn't even that bad, but it says, they said my name is Wilder. Hi, Krishma. I hope you don't mind our randomness, but my girlfriend and I wanted to say you're absolutely stunning. This is weird. They're, no, yeah. they're, they're recruiting. Yeah. They're recruiting. Yeah, they're super recruiting, mate. Yo, know, the transfer windows are <laughs> open, mate. Okay. Somebody, Trust me. Somebody sent me, I'd pay to eat you out. I've had those quite a lot of times, or I'd pay. How much? I don't know. They've never named a price. <laughs> so you know them ones, because I'm thinking about if I was a girl, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that one. Yeah, no. I wouldn't course. do that um, one. Still. What else have I had? I'm doing the ones here where I'm getting peas for not really doing anything. <laughs> As a girl, like somebody sent me like a whole like weird. Can you just please quote the comrade one again, please? <laughs> I mean, nah, because I, I don't know, man. I'll do that last year, but somebody sent me like a full description of what they do to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> man turned JK Rowling on the Insta. Yo, shout that. out Harry Potter. Yeah, Harry man. Potter, yo, you know. yo, yeah, we shout out. We love I Harry Potter. Potter still. Tattoo. Yeah, swear down. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's mad hey. still. Nah. You know what? Shout out Harry Potter, man. Harry Potter's a thing still. Harry Potter is an escape. Nah, it is. It is. We love a bit of Harry. (laughs) Yes, basically, I'm not going to read the whole thing out, but somebody sent me. Nah, read some of it, please. Okay, okay. Please, please. Right, time to get the poet. (laughs) Oh, the poetry. Oh, I forgot about the poetry. Okay, yeah. Go on, show us your poetry skills. Uh, Well, I'm just going to read what somebody says. Yeah. If I was your man, would you like waking up (laughs) grinding on my big morning wood, then grasping and stroking my shaft before I pour and warm? (laughs) warm oils on you and give you that thorough massage then play with your hair kiss your lips neck torso caress those breasts and work my way no down. that's not the way it says that is <laughs> yes, not carrying yes it does it does not say that yes it does i'm expecting you to stop yesterday he's still reading that's nah that's just did you reply no please tell me you sent some clapping hands or something no, because he's got heart to actually write all that. He's actually sat there and thought about this. I know. I've had... No, you could you just said... I mean, if you ain't sending a clapping hands, I beg you sending some clapping hands, please. Cause it was a long time ago. I, I secretly... I'm, I'm, I'm secretly... Right in the mind. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> not not what he's saying, but for the mere fact, he's actually... He's definitely spell checked it as well. He's gone back and read that over, you know. Yeah, I know. 100%. Do the effort. He's A for effort. That's very true. Oh, somebody said... A for effort, 100%. <laughs> This one's quite funny. Somebody said, I only suffered a mild concussion, so I was so lucky to survive on the occasion that I might have to unfollow you so it doesn't get worse the next time. It's very cringy. 
That one's dead. I can't. Lie. Yeah, but it's really cringy. That's nah, it's, 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 it's No, like when I say dead, I mean like he he definitely tried a thing with that. Like he was trying to be super funny, and it just really it went was, funny. Yeah. yeah. Uh, crickets. You got crickets for that one. I usually get the ones like when in like Halloween outfits. People mm. usually message like now the comrade the, the comrade ones one. That's funny. Do you think whoever that is? Wait, wait. Shout out whoever the comrade <laughs> hold guy on, is. Hold mate. on. There's this one. Somebody put. <laughs> I, can't, I can't deal You're looking with so Get good Get me off this ride You're <laughs> looking so good You're gonna kill me Before Corona does yeah, That nah, was during he, the pandemic Yeah no he, he Yeah he was just the pandemic He was just trying to Yeah during He was just trying pandemic. to be The funny thing but, Fair enough though But yeah No the comrade one He's one Do you think He's a G the G Nah man one. it was a bit creepy I Nah I think like It's a disgusting message to send But like I have had a G, similar like, ones I've had similar ones to that Like Nah, the comrade thing that who kills like me, full bro. on just blatantly send that kind of stuff straight away, like yeah, nah, that's mad. Yeah. That is actually mad. Come on, let's do one more then. One more, okay. Hold yeah. on, let me find some. I can't get over that first one, man. That's nah. That's <laughs> I'll read that again. Mad, don't bro. worry. Yo, that's um... actually mad. Man, and then J.K. Rowling, bro. <laughs> J.K. Rowling. J.K. DMs, bro. That's what we're gonna call him. Yeah, it's mad. Um. It's mad. Okay, somebody sent me this. Okay. I know this is weird, but then they sent me someone's app, told me he wants to get to know you better so he can lick your vagina and anal you too. <laughs> Guys, we can do better, man. <laughs> we can actually do better. We can do better. Can do- <laughs> Someone put well, one on fifteen. you want to share a packet of biscuits. <laughs> no, he didn't say that. No, I... <laughs> no, he did. Let's get out of <laughs> Ask Someone, him. Ask him what biscuits. I don't know. Someone sent me something to like decipher, like a whole code. <laughs> this guy's <laughs> turned into the Da Vinci Code. Nah, I don't know anymore. And I figured man. it out. I did figure it out. <laughs> I don't know anymore, man. You can't do up Da Vinci on the DMs, man. That's madness. <laughs> Listen, just where's the comrade one? We gotta finish on that one because he's one for me. Okay, okay, okay. That that kills it. <laughs> 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 looking for a new comrade. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. It's so disrespectful that it's. Oh, my okay, God. Read that read is so it. bad. I'm going to read it once more. Are Go you on. ready? Yeah. Yo, I've got his eyes as well now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Looking for a new comrade. Comma. <laughs> Comma. <laughs> <laughs> you look like the perfect candidate. <laughs> <laughs> With the emoji, the devil and the water droplets. Oh wow and he What's his name him? man Do you know him Shout out Lamar I don't know who he is but Lamar You're the real <laughs> He's MVP He's got quite a few followers as well you know You're the real MVP <laughs> You're the real MVP Yeah yeah Real MVP man Shout out Lamar What a guy Bad man What a guy Bad man But guy. listen we're coming to the end It's been a pleasure You're it a good really sport has. You are a good sport You too You've been a very good guest What's well, so I've been very good host. I'm very sorry about paranormal activity part five. Yeah, okay. Apart from you bringing the gins, in. <laughs> well, I didn't because man. you bring all the ghosts and the doppies into the place. I you didn't. get me? But apart from that, been a great show. Been a great guest. I'm glad the comrade thing done me. <laughs> That's won it. I'll have new. I'll have new DMs soon. Yeah, yeah. No, we're, we're definitely gonna have to get you back on one thousand percent because I need to be hearing your DMs, man. That is just yeah. You, that's oh, madness, baby, though. one. If I can find it, I'll try and find this voice note that someone sent me once. <laughs> <laughs> no, the best one though. The best two. The top two <laughs> of that list was Da Vinci Code. And the there rack. was this one about McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> like your chicken nugget or something. No, it was actually. Oh, let me see if I can find it. Um, Man, hold on. Now they're the best one so far because I've had people read out DMs. Someone said that. Um, oh, I found it. I found it. All right, go on. This isn't like mad, but it's just. <laughs> it's, I'm Nike and you're McDonald's. <laughs> I'm a. Do- you're what? I'm Nike yeah. and you're McDonald's. I'm a be doing it. And you'll be loving it. I've actually heard that one before, though, so I can't. <laughs> See, rate people him. are just reusing. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. I think that's yeah, that's a Google people thing. Are, people are reusing. That's mad still. But yeah. Listen, thanks for coming on anyway. No Obviously, worries. people, it's the first yeah. time on the. Ch- if, well, I'm get my, I'm I'm get my words out, man. <laughs> AU man's got man's on the AU this time, innit? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Shout if it's your first time on the channel, remember to like this, like and subscribe to the channel. We're here every Sunday, weekly. 
If you want to come on here, hear weird DMs, hear weird stories, talk about sex, and we just chat a lot of shit. <laughs> make sure you subscribe to the channel and subscribe. click that notification button because we'll be here. Subscribe, subscribe. It's your boy, Mr. Anderson. We got <laughs> uh, oh, where's my mic gone? We've got a Kushma here. Oh, yeah. Doing up ghosts in the building. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, this is the Council Culture Podcast, and we are out. Peace.